this weekend against the Bunnies. I know it's not only Monday, but looking forward to it. Yeah, no, I'm very, I'm keen, very excited. Um, obviously, didn't get the win the other game, but no, we're full of confidence this week. So yeah. How's the how's the week off been? Chance to reset. Yeah, a chance to reset. Obviously, work on what we need to work on, and um, yeah, just work on all that stuff and getting ready for this week. Uh, how was training um, this morning? Was Luke Thompson around? Is he back from England? Yeah, he was. He's back, but um, he's just doing his um, little stuff because he just came back. So yep. yeah, doing some rehab stuff and stuff like that. So yeah. It's obviously through um, like Matt Burton when you've got um, him putting up bombs and that kind of thing. Like, yeah. Are you working with him at training, catching practice, that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Always have competitions with him, see how much I can drop and stuff like that. Because, yeah, like, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, it's just now I know why all these fullbacks aren't catching them. It's just crazy how high, especially if you see in training. So, yeah, it's just crazy. What goes through your mind when you're trying to find a beat under <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. I'm just like some like if he hits it right, or oh, just that high, it's just crazy. Like it's, it's literally impossible. Some of the kicks he does is impossible to catch on the full. That's why lots of them just let him bounce. On game day, I'd imagine you're glad he's on your side. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Playing in the backs, how much has the likes of Josh Adokar helped you develop as a player? Yeah, um, he's been huge, especially when I first came here. Um, and yeah, I've played wing heaps of games, so um, he's been huge on telling me where to stand defensively and all movements because he's, he's experienced, he's played Origins, played Australia. So um, it's been huge on me. What do you think you've improved on the most since last season? Um, just probably just my um, just back five carries. Try, I tried to come in this season just be heaps stronger in the way I run and just get myself more involved in the game because I know my strengths and yeah. Of your family, Potter, since he's joined the club and, and what's he done for your game? Yeah, no, Mick Potter's been good. He's been um, really straight up with me and telling me what I need to work on. So, um, yeah, he's been huge. He's been he's really honest with me. So, um, yeah, every week he sits us down, tells us what we need to work on. Even if we win, he still tells us what we need to work on first and then focus on the positives after. You become a bit of a cult hero in the club. How does that sit with you? No, nah, it's just <laughs> I just try and do my job every week and. Um, yeah, obviously I just want to win, and the boys all want to win as well, so, yeah. There's some reports of a pretty stern chat you had in the rooms after the Panthers game. Can you, can you take us in the rooms about, about that? Yeah, that was just, yeah, I don't know how that came out. I just, it wasn't, um, nothing happened, yeah, so, I, I, yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> nothing happened at all, so. Oh, I was just saying nothing, you didn't talk to Corey? No, nah, I didn't talk to Corey at all. That's why when we saw it come out, we are just looking, you know, we were looking at each other, just, we don't know why it came out, but, um. Yeah, nothing happened. I didn't speak to him after the game. I remember. I think we're all just yeah, we're just all sitting down and just yeah. So yeah, a bit confused why it came out. But were there any sort of um, heated discussions between any other players? Do you no. know what I mean? Is there a way that the wires got crossed? No, I don't. Not that I know. I don't know behind closed doors. Yeah. But as um, like I said, I know that after the game, I didn't. I didn't even speak to anyone. So yeah, I don't know. What about for you, mate? Like, debut this season, seven games, you've pitched yourself. How do you enjoy the life in the NRL? Yeah, no, I'm loving it here, especially with the Bulldogs. Um, yeah, so they gave me the opportunity to debut, and obviously I had to wait till round 11 and I had to go back to reserve grade, and still I wanted to prove myself to get back into the team. And, um, yeah, every week I'm learning different um, skills, and I still think I still can become way better than I am now and um, do way more for the team. So, yeah, I'm just trying to improve on that every week. And how's this year affected your life? Are you starting to get recognised in the street? Um, yeah, like if I go, if I go to the um, main areas, like probably Parramatta and stuff like that. Yeah, like I do walk around. I do get it's it's different. I get lots of heads turned and stuff like that, and asking for photos. But the first couple of rounds was a bit um, overwhelming, even because oh, I'm real close to my family. I'll be walking with my brothers and. Yeah, they'll, they'll be shocked as well. Like, bro, they're, they're looking at you like this. And then, yeah, obviously now I'm, I'm getting used to it, so it's all right. And, yeah. You enjoy it? Is it good? Yeah, like, it's good. I like, um, yeah, like, I always want to make time for everyone. And I remember when I was a kid, I always idolised players. So, yeah, when um, when I would call their name or go ask for a photo, they met in the world. So, obviously, I want to always pay back and do that to them as well. Who was your favourite Bulldogs player? Um, Josh Reynolds.
Yeah, I was a big fan of him, just the way he played with his heart and stuff like that. So, yeah. Did you ever get a photo with him? Yeah, I had a, I have a photo of him, yeah, when I was younger. So, yeah. Any favourite memories? Um, probably that Belmore game when he was on the bench, um, when Belmore was packed out, when he was on the bench and all the fans were just waiting for him to get on. And yeah, it was crazy. I think I was probably at that game, yeah. <laughs> <'Cause>, yeah. <laughs>